Well, the Bina couple is wrapping up the search for an organ donor. The Patton family has been on this path for years, joining a kidney donor waiting list and more recently advertising their need in print. Our Jackson Bruner explains. Rosella Patton was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 1994. She used insulin to combat it for a while, but just five years later, things changed for the worse as she went into a coma. It was scary. I scared Jean. I really scared him. And then it happened again. That evening in bed, she became all sweaty and was kind of moaning. And I reached over and asked, what's wrong? And what's wrong? What's wrong? And there's no response, nothing. The disease caused one of Rosella's kidneys to fail. And as a result, she takes part in something called peritoneal dialysis, a process where a machine manually cleans her blood every night as she sleeps. We have to keep track of everything in a big notebook. Daily. So far, it's worked, allowing her the freedom to make daytime trips, like today's visit to Bemidji for groceries. But the Pattons don't want to deal with it anymore. You can still travel, but it's a little bit more difficult, and you have to take equipment with you, and you have to have extra equipment and emergency equipment. So along with joining a Minnesota list for deceased donors, a process that can take years, Rosella and Eugene began to print ads in the hope that someone might have an extra kidney to spare. Getting a, a kidney transplant from a living donor is, a, is at the top of the list, would be the best result you could get. I would don't have to worry about big machines and solutions and tubing and all that. They've only had one response so far, but hope springs eternal for these two, as they look like many others with diabetes to simply get healthy. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Rosella has type O blood. Those interested in helping the Patton family find a transplant are asked to call the number you see on the screen. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.